Okay, last video, and then I can watch Glee. Um, the, this is the same as the other two, except this time I'm going to use Minitab, probably the easiest way to find these probabilities, because it's just a matter of pulling up text boxes and entering things in boxes and then clicking buttons. Um, so you've seen this problem the third time. Uh, the length of these sheets um, are normally distributed, mean of 75, standard deviation of 1, find the probability a randomly selected sheet is, has a length between 74.5 and 75.8. Okay, so I'm gonna, I opened a mini tab um, worksheet. So you go to graph and then down here, the, it's called probability distribution plot. You wanna make a plot of this normal curve. So um, first you could just make a plot or you can also have it find probabilities. If I just wanna make the plot, I just click view single put in the mean, standard deviation, it'll draw the normal curve. I actually want to find probability, so I go over here and click, uh, double click on view probability. And I want a normal curve. Um, the mean is 75 and the standard deviation is one. And I want to find the shaded area. Um, so let me see, I have actually two X values um, I have, I want to find the area in the middle, um, between, so X values, if you have values, probabilities, if you have a probability, you'll see it later when I do another example. So I want to find the area between, um, 74.5 and 75.8. And I just click okay. And uh, it'll draw the picture and give me the probability. It's coming. Um, there it is. So let me pull it up here. Oh, I have to pull up my whole sheet. Um, let me pull this down. And there you see it. So there, right there, is the, it shades the area under the curve and also gives you the probability up here. It told you you had a normal. Um, and there you go. There's 4796. That's the same thing we got when we integrated. So it, it's integrating and it's not, it's more exact than the table. And you get a nice picture and it's visibly easy to see that you have a you know a number that makes sense so that's a pretty nice pretty nice way to do this so let me let me just pull him down we'll leave him there for a second we'll um go to the next problem so let's go down here um again another normal problem this was scores mean 12 standard deviation three what's the probability individual scores less than 14. same thing graph pull up probability distribution plot I want to view the probability. I have a normal curve. You could have, you can work with any curve you like. That's what's so nice about this. So normal. Um, the mean here is 12. Standard deviation is three. I actually want to find a probability. Um, I have an X value. I want the area in the less than 14. So left tail less than 14. There's my X value, so um, I think we had 7475 from the last, remember when we did it on the other two sheets. So you can see we are correct, and there it is, 7475, area to the left. You know, if you got it wrong, you could look at the picture, you'd know. So another very nice way to do it. Um, actually, while we're on this, I might as well show you, we can do part B in Minitab. Um, if eight, remember eight randomly selected individuals, um, this was a, it let x equal a uh, number of individuals with test scores less than 14. This was a binomial with n equal to 8 people and p equals 0.7475. That's the probability that you were less than 14. So down here I go to graph. Um, probability distribution, view probability. I'm working with a binomial. Uh, number of trials is eight. Probability of success is 0.7475. Uh, shaded area, um, X value. I wanted the value between, um, let me see, middle. Um, the bottom was, no. If eight, what is the probability of that four or more? So bottom is 
four and can only go up to eight and it should add up these probabilities then. So here is our uh, binomial and it just is adding up four, five, six, seven, eight and there's the total probability. So I mean there's the, the discrete distribution. These are just bars. This is showing you know, like when I have the the plots where I just have a nice line, this is really a probability that it's well, it goes all the way down to zero. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Don't think it's continuous. It's just these bars represent the probability x is, you know, uh, six or seven. It even tells you to look at that, the nice probability below. So uh, many times it's very nice, especially, I mean, you're taking away the summing and the integrating and it's just doing it behind the scenes, kind of like a black box. Uh, let me finish this up then. Let's do that last example because you'll get to see the other way we can work many tabs. So um, IQ scores, um, mean of 110, standard deviation 20, normally distributed. Okay, we want the 95th percentile. So I'll show you how to go backwards now. Um, we still, we pull up, let's get this, let's lower this so we can see. Um, same idea graph, probability distribution plot, view probability, I have a normal curve. Let's go back to normal again. Um, down here, so here's normal, mean of uh, 110, standard deviation of 20, shaded area. Now this time um, we have the probability and we want to find the x value. We're going backwards. So um, I really want, well I could do this 5%. We either want 5% in the right tail or 95% um, in the left tail. So maybe that, I mean, I'll be consistent with my other. So I want um, the x value that leaves 95% to the left and uh, that will give us a score so there it is let's pull this guy up here again um, there there was the exact score we got in the other two graphs um, 142.9 leaves 95% in the left tail so as you can see, this is a very nice method. I didn't, I didn't used to use Minitab for this or show Minitab, but I think it's, I mean, if you're gonna learn Minitab, it's a very nice tool. And uh, so in the future on tests, homework, quizzes, I don't care which method you use, the table, the integration, or Minitab. Um, I, did, I do wanna remind you, I told you in class that when eventually you'll, a lot of you will take the FE exam, they do require you to be able to read a Z table. So that's, that's probably the only reason I still keep it in because integration is just just as nice. I mean, especially for, you know, since you guys understand what area under the curve means or using Minitab is fine if you, I mean, any kind of statistical software would have these abilities. So, um, oh, I should show you a picture of my dog. She's playing, I'm teaching her how to play cards. Uh, I got this huge deck, so I'll have to bring them to class, but I think they're pretty cool. Uh, anyway, that will stop. Uh, yeah, still a good time. So um, happy new year. If you have any questions, just um, send me an email or um, let me know. Otherwise, uh, I'm going to assume that you feel pretty good about the normal curve and how to find probabilities. Okay, uh, I'll see you soon.